All right, I'm out here at Vine Street number one here in Decatur, Alabama. 264 has just passed. There's a couple more in S westbounds coming. I think there may be a southbound CSX coming. And if that's the case, I'm definitely going to get rid of Bolton Street. Anyways, the first signal here is a mast signal. It has a safe train base. The gate mechanism is from safe train as well. We have the emergency information right here. You can see the dot number is 731850H. The blue one's the newer emergency information. The white is the older. Then we have a safe train. No, then we have the lights, which are safe train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights. There's a look at the lens there. The lens, as you can see them. And we got safe train logo right over there. And then we have the bell, which is a safe train mechanical bell. And finally, we have the gate lights, which are incandescent Rico gate lights. These actually replace NEG gate lights, believe it or not. Between my first and second visits out here. And then right over here, we have a, they have the second signal, which is a cantilever signal. This is a bit of an overview of that. The cantilever is from Safe Tran. The NASA cantilever has a dot tag and some older emergency information on it. The lights on this signal are Safe Tran 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights. There's a Look at the back of that one, and there's close up the lens there. The overhead lights are more safe train 12 by 20s. And then the bell here on this signal is a Western Cone Hayes mechanical bell. This one used to be the only Western Cone Hayes mechanical bell in the Gator until the one at Molten Street got installed to replace the Martin Industries mechanical bell. But, anyways, for the gate mast, we have a safe tran base. The gate mechanism is also from safe tran. All right, here's the emergency information, older and newer. The signal has more incandescent Rico gate lights on it. And then right over then we have the track views. This is looking technically south but also west. If you get what I mean. Because over there on the left, that is facing south towards, that is facing south along the CSX SNNA North Sub, the track that splits off to the left there in that second track going into Oakworth Yard. It's looking south towards Oakwood Yard and uh, Birmingham. And uh, Oakwood Yard's here in Decatur, Birmingham's way far south on CSX SNNA North Sub. Track off to the right there, that's Memphis District East End going west towards Sheffield. And uh, then going, and then looking north, which is also looking east, we have the, where you can see where the yard track up there meets up with the, the main. But we have the, but going north that way, uh, once you get across, they join together across Tennessee River, once you get across the Tennessee River, going east takes you on the Memphis District east end towards uh, Chattanooga through Stevenson. And then going, but continuing north along CSX SNNA North Sub, goes up to Nashville. And right over there is the relay case for this crossing. As you can see, it's got a sign for Decatur on it, because that's the control point, I think. I'm not sure, though. Also, there's some kind of new thing being that was installed there. No power hook to it, though. But it's some kind of new power connection. And also, a bit more interesting here is the... Right over here, we have an automatic switch control. So if the southbound CSX is coming rather soon, we'll see that move. But right over there, looking into the sun a bit, right there, that's that, those signals there are actually old Southern Railway signals, believe it or not. Because this CTC controlled, they're the only ones along this line that they didn't get replaced. Because the CTC controlling them meant that they didn't need to get replaced when PTC came through. And also, I'm going to go over here because I forgot to show this at the beginning. But right over here, this crossing, as y'all may have seen in my videos for those who have watched it, this crossing here is a quiet zone. 
So we got the no train horn sign right here. See right there it says no train horn. Right here's the stored decayer depot. Rumor has it that there may be a webcam getting installed here. No, no word on that yet or not. I do know that they'll apparently have a live scanner feed. Hopefully they will have a webcam too, but there'll be a live scanner feed inside the museum when it finally opens. But yeah, it's Divine Street number one River Crossing in Decatur, Alabama. The reason why it's a quiet zone, believe it or not, this is actually the oldest part of Decatur, and, it was bef and this part of Decatur was probably built before the railroad even this railroad even existed. So the uh, uh, Decatur, Cortland, and uh, Tuscumbia Railway, first railroad in the area, first one west of the Appalachians too. So a bit of a historical line here, and then we have the in it but it has a but anyways just gonna try and wrap this up soon but the this crossing here it's the busiest in the area according to the FRA which is part of the reason why it's a quiet zone because how busy it is don't want to feel over there an area didn't want to hear train horns blasting all into the night can't say I don't blame them but not nah, this crossing here it's the busiest it gets 50 trains a day I mean, some of y'all, that might not be a lot. I mean, especially those who live along lines like the Chicago line. Or those from other countries where y'all get passenger and get, like, upwards of 100 trains on now for your average line. But this crossing, it, it's the busiest crossing in the area. It gets 50 trains a day, according to the FRA. If you don't like quiet zone, there's, pedest there's a pedestrian bridge north of Highway 20 over there, which is just north of that pedestrian bridge. Which has, which you can go to. It's not exactly a quiet zone, so you might get more horn salutes from crews. But yeah, over, it's over at River Junction. So yeah, this is the tour of uh, Vine Street Number One, Indicator, Alabama. Over and out. <laughs>